Hi, hi and welcome to the first of many Unity tutorials on how to make an RPG game. Uh, in this tutorial we'll, we'll be making like a landscape and a simple character which moves around. Uh, you should end up with something like this at the end of this tutorial, if not next tutorial. And you'll just end up with something simple like this. You just your character moves around, it can jump. like that so on so on so first you'll want a new project I've already made one and make sure when you've insert well when you've opened it that um, you have the standard assets here you don't have to have all of them but the one we want is the character controllers so if you don't have that right click anywhere and go to import package and click character controller but for now we're just going to create our landscape so go to terrain create terrain and that gives you this massive massive little um, terrain board but this is actually really big it will take your character a million light years to get from one end to the other so we want to make it smaller by going to terrain set resolution and we can change it all here so I'm just going to be doing uh, maybe 600 by 600 and click set resolution that will make it um, notably smaller next you're going to want to import some sort of grass texture so find a grass texture on the internet and then once you've done that um, you need to copy it, like you have to download it, copy it, now go to your project folder wherever you saved it, so mine was tutorial project, go into this assets folder here and paste it. Unity automatically updates it, so it's here now click on your terrain in the hierarchy and click on this little paintbrush here and that will allow us to paint our uh, terrain this grass texture so go to edit textures down here click add texture now click this little circle thing here and scroll down until you find your grass texture mine's here and click add now by default Unity automatically makes your terrain this grass so that's okay. So now we're going to make some hills and mountains. So you click this button here which is the raise and lower terrain height tool and as you can see we now get to choose between these brushes. First you might want to click this one because makes it quite smooth because if you do this one it's very not smooth and jagged so click on this blurred out one one of these two will be fine and you might want to change the brush size up to you I'll make it quite big and the opacity means how um, how high basically your mountains are going to be I like my mountains quite high so a good height is about 70 now you just drag your mouse and you just start painting your mountains basically. Don't worry if you go off the side, I'll teach you how to get rid of those. But you never know, you might want to keep them. So I'll just speed up the video because you've probably got the hang of it. So that will do for now. They may not be very mountain like but yeah. If you want to make them more mountain like then you can just add extra things on the side but now if you've got these extra bumps which you don't want it's very easy to sort them out you click on this button here which is set the terrain height click on that hold shift at the bottom floor click and then start painting over the little lump and it'll go down to where the floor is but anyway that's that for now so that's our simple landscape 
I'm not going to paint the mountains yet because now we're going to be adding in our uh, character so go into your character controllers and add first person controller bring it into wherever you want that'll do and now at first when you play the game your character tends to be quite slow in my personal opinion it takes them a while to walk around it's simple to speed it up all you have to do is click on your first person controller in here and you go down to where it says character motor and go down to movement and where it says maximum forward speed increase that to about 15 same here maybe maybe slower for sideways maybe about 10 backwards quite good 6 you could turn up the gravity like uh, 60 is quite good for gravity and you can turn up the full speed to 60 as well now when your character moves around it's a lot easier to navigate and the jumping's a bit more realistic have you, have you, as you've noticed probably it's very dark kind of like sunset it's very simple to sort that out go into your scene view and you'll want to go to game object create other and directional light or point light uh, point light is a good one now at first it makes your scene even darker than it already was but it's okay just grab this thing over here and you can start increasing the size make sure it covers your terrain if you want you can bring up the light there you go already that's made your uh, terrain a lot easier to see and it's more like daytime if you want you can um, click on your point light and turn up the intensity not too much but a little bit and you might want to move it up a little bit more that's quite good now to change the skybox you can click on your main camera and you can click on this background and it will change the colour of the sky so if I play the game now oh, oh sorry hold on go to your first person controller and click main camera and then you change the colour then you play then the, the sky is nice and blue but say you wanted a custom background like clouds or something that's okay um, what you do is you go to edit render settings and then where it says skybox material you get a material like uh, you go to create material and just call that skybox material now where it says shader diffuse click where it says diffuse or the arrow next to it go down to render effects and then skybox and then you'll get a ton of different texture items because I'm not going to be using the skybox I'm just going to be doing like a sample thing so I'm just going to have a grass sky so drag everything in so that be for the front that's for the back that's for the left right up down simple as that but anyway you go to edit render settings skybox material click on the circle here find the material you just made <laughs> which would be this and as you can see you have <laughs> a, um, a grass sky which is probably not what you want but this is just for demonstrations 
that's really weird. If you don't like it, you can just get rid of it by going here, clicking none, and then it will revert back to what you set in your main camera. At the moment, we don't need this main camera, so you can right click on it and delete it, because we won't need that. So that's the basics. Now we're going to be adding a, um, we can add an audio soundtrack as well. That's simple. Just go to game object, create other, and then, uh, oh no, don't worry. What you have to do is find the music you want. So, um, let's use this one I got off Newgrounds. You can copy that and it's, it's the same as everything you go to where you saved your tutorial or whatever go to assets and just paste it in unity automatically picks it up and it's importing it now sometimes it takes a while I'll speed it up okay finally we have our um, music now at first it is a 3D sound meaning if you place it in the scene depending on where it is it depends how quiet or loud it is. To make it like a consistent sound click on your sound in the project and uncheck 3D sound. Now unfortunately if you do that you have to re-import it which is another annoying thing so I'll speed it up again. Oh there we go. So now that we've done that, we can drag this into our scene now. So just drag it on top of your terrain or whatever. And then when it's played, you can hear the music. that's the basics there's nothing more I really need to show you because you know how to do all the terraining and decorating so that'll be it for now but come back soon for another unity tutorial and then we'll be getting into the scripting and stuff so thanks for watching and goodbye